Welcome to Lex's World, guys. In my How to Roll a Joint episode, I very quickly pointed to some rolling papers, but I didn't really talk too much about them. Rolling papers are a whole industry onto themselves, and choosing different papers is really fun because there's lots of variety. I wanted to give you guys a taste of what's out there so you can pick the right paper for your skill and preferences. It's impossible to cover everything, but hopefully this will inspire you to get adventurous with your paper choices. So first, rolling papers come in a bunch of different sizes. There's single wides, uh, there's one and a quarter wide, there's one and a half wide, and there's your double wides. And um, there's also a variety of king sizes, and it even goes higher than king sizes. The thing to note for you beginners out there is that the wider the paper, the easier it is to roll. So if you're just starting out, maybe go for a one and a half size. Uh, next thing is the materials. So they're made out of a ton of different materials. Examples are wood pulp, hemp, flax, and rice paper, or any combination of those. I personally like rice and hemp based papers best because they're always thin and slow burning. Usually the pack says what material the papers are made out of, but not always. Now let's take a look at a few different rolling paper types. So first we have here GIJs. Uh, these are an example of a pattern rolling paper and uh, there's a ton of different papers out there besides just camouflage you can get almost every pattern you can imagine and a lot of people really like that uh, next we have easy wider uh, these are papers that have a watermark and have been around a long time they're a very old Belgian brand I'll try and show you guys the watermark and again there's a ton of different watermarks out there and people like that as well uh, next we have Ruhr. This is an example of a single wide flax based paper by a company that's known for making bongs and you can tell that this paper is a little bit translucent and uh, usually some of your thinner papers are uh, translucent like this. Some people enjoy translucents. Next we have a company called Snail. Uh, whenever I see Snail I think of Ed Hardy um, these are considered upscale, but only in terms of fancy packaging and the fact that they come with their own air filters. But really, in terms of paper quality, there are many brands as good or better. Um, so there's really nothing too special about Snail. Next we have Juicy J's. This is an example of flavored rolling papers. Uh, this is watermelon, but there's tons of flavors out there like bubblegum, blueberry, apple, maple syrup, and so forth. As someone who isn't big on the taste of normal joints, I really, really like flavored papers, and uh, if you're like me, then you might like them as well. Uh, next, we have Zigzags. These are like the classic brand that's been around forever. These are thick, uh, wood pulp and flax rolling papers, and they're pretty inexpensive. Uh, but Zigzags are a huge brand that's recognized the world over. Zigzags used to be even thicker back when they were made only out of wood pulp. So uh, they're definitely a brand that's starting to change its ways a little bit from the classic ways. Next we have El Automobile. These are kind of nifty. These are creaseless rolling papers. Um, so for all you guys that don't like that crease down the middle, there you go, El Automobile. Next we have Elements. Elements is a rice-based um, paper, and like I said, rice papers are very thin, very slow burning. I'm a big fan of rice papers, and again, they're a little bit translucent. Uh, so definitely check out Elements if you've never tried them out before. Um, now, next we have Raw. Raw is worth talking about a little bit extra. Raw is your hemp-based rolling papers, and they have a couple different ones. They have the Classic, which is a combination of hemp and another material, whereas your organic hemp, that's 
a pure hemp rolling paper. Um, even the gum on it, which means the part that uh, you're supposed to stick, is made out of the hemp. Now, unfortunately, that means it requires a little bit more moisture, but that's pretty much the only drawback with these papers. A lot of people really swear by the quality of raw, and it's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, as, definitely as far as hemp papers go. Uh, now, let's take a look at Zero. Uh, these are actually transparent rolling papers, not just translucents. Uh, and here they are. You can really see right through them. Transparent papers like this are usually made from wood-based cellophane and glycerin, uh, some combination thereof. A couple of informal studies have been done on smoking transparents, and they are no more dangerous to smoke than any other paper, even though some people say they taste funny. I'd really enjoy these, except um, I find them a little bit awkward to roll, and they're also pretty heat bag. Everyone from a hundred meters away will know what you're smoking if you're using a transparent. Um, next, not quite in the rolling paper category, but I wanted you guys to know they're out there. These are cones, uh, which basically allow you to roll pre-rolled cones. Well, you don't have to roll them, you just take them out of the box. And there's a ton of different sizes of these. Um, I I just find these kind of interesting because you used to always have to roll your own cones. Uh, now this is just a small sample of the rolling papers that are being produced. I'll throw a link in the description to where you can find more more info on most of these and others. But I really encourage you guys to get adventurous with rolling papers because there's tons out there and even if you're not a big joint guy, it's pretty interesting. Uh, that's our big overview on rolling papers. Hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button below. We'll catch you next time on Lexus World.